Sexual Reproduction Introduction Sexual reproduction is commonly found in the complex, multicellular organisms. It involves the union of male and female sex cells or gametes to form the zygote which grows into a new individual. Two different sexes, male and female, take part in the process. The testes in male produce male gametes or sperms. And the ovaries in female produce female gametes or ova. Sexual reproduction is a way of reproduction of some animals and plants. Some protists and fungi also reproduce this way. Organisms that reproduce sexually have two different sexes, male and female. Both these sex organs may be present in the same body. Such animals are known as bisexual or hermaphrodite animals. Example, earthworm. Formation of sperms and ova involve meiosis or reduction division through which haploid gametes are formed from the diploid cells. Gametes vary in shapes and sizes in different animals. The cells of an animal or higher plant have two sets of chromosomes. They are diploid. When gametes, sex cells are produced, they have only one set of chromosomes. They are haploid. They have undergone a process of cell division called meiosis. During meiosis, crossing over occurs. This makes it possible to get recombination. This has various consequences. It means, for example, that all the children of two parents are not identical except in the rare case where they developed from the same fertilized egg. The second step is called fertilization. In it, the two cells merge into one. This restores the diploid state. Fertilization is what happens when a female's ovum or egg joins together with a male's sperm and they form a zygote. Fertilization is also called conception. In humans, biologists call a fertilized egg a zygote. A zygote is the fertilized cell that will grow into a baby animal. The zygote then multiplies and grows into an embryo. A zygote is the cell that results from fertilization. A zygote is synthesized from the union of two gametes and constitutes the first stage in an organism's development. Some animals keep the zygote in their bodies until it is a full-grown baby. The time between the forming of the zygote and the baby's birth is called pregnancy. Other animals do not keep the zygote in their bodies but lay an egg. The zygote grows inside the egg until it is ready and the baby animal hatches. Advantages 
of sexual reproduction. 1. The offsprings produced due to sexual reproduction adapt themselves successfully to the changing environmental conditions. 2. Formation of gametes by meiosis and their fusion during fertilization produce reshuffling of genes and variation in the offsprings. Variations in the offsprings help them in natural selection and evolution. Disadvantages of sexual reproduction Since two parents of opposite sexes are needed, that is, biparental reproduction, except hermaphrodite forms, it is not as easy or as frequent as asexual or uniparental reproduction.